Thanks for joining us for another Slido questions and responses. Uh, I've got a couple questions here that I'm going to take right as a pair. The first two questions are, can this chesed love be equated with grace as it is represented in Ephesians? And of all the descriptions you gave of chesed, would it be accurate to say it means mercy of God? So um, in the message, I talked about how David has a uh, heart after God's own heart. And I think that the defining characteristic of God's heart is chesed love. Um, that's a Hebrew word that you could translate as loyal love, steadfast love, loving kindness. It has this idea that it is a love that a person is showing to someone else not because of what that other person is doing for them, but because the person has promised to love them. It, it, there's like a, a covenantal loving going on. Um, I think it's it's not the same, but I think it's pretty similar to how we talk about agape love in the New Testament. Again, we're talking about languages here, but when we're talking about God, we're talking about the same God in both the Old and the New Testament. So as we understand love in the New Testament, we can see how that plays out in the Old Testament as well. So the person asks, can you talk about grace and mercy as part of chesed love? And I think um, not in the narrow definition, probably, but those are really important elements and that God is merciful to us and he shows us grace, not because of what we do, but because of what Christ has done for us. And on Christ's behalf, God fully and completely loves you. Um, mercy, some say, uh, is defined as not getting what you should. And grace is defined as... Um, getting something you shouldn't. And so they're, they're kind of like two sides of the same coin. Uh, we know that God is love and that from his love come forth grace and mercy. Okay, let's look at the next question. Is it possible for me, a sinner, to have this type of love? How does God deal with the disappointment in me when I reject his love and put X before him? Number one. There is no condemnation for those in Christ Jesus. There is no disappointment that God has in you or about you or for you because all of God's disappointment, all of his anger, all of his judgment, all of his wrath, all, all of his, you know, man, I just wish you would do it better was taken on Jesus at the cross. Jesus took all of our sin, including the sin of putting something before God. And so that what all that we receive from God is that grace, is that mercy, is that loyal, steadfast, loving kindness. That's all that God has for you because Jesus has taken all of it on himself at the cross. So um, how does God deal with the disappointment in me? Well, he, he takes it out on Jesus. Um, the first part of the question, is it possible for me, a sinner, to have this type of love? I would say yes, we can definitely show echoes of it coming out of ourselves. But I think that what God is calling us is not to try and gin up this kind of, you know, almost impossible to fulfill kind of love, but rather be a conduit for his love to someone else. When we realize how much God loves us, that he has taken care of completely everything for us. It actually gives us the freedom to love and serve others. And so we can be a conduit for God's perfect chesed love to come to others. And the great thing about being a conduit is now it's not coming out of you. It's actually God using you and giving you the source of his infinite love. And we can't run out of that. Uh, not to, again, I'm not going to like oversimplify and say it's super easy. It's hard right? Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm not going to dive down the rabbit hole. Okay. I'm going to get to the fourth question. Where do you think the church, maybe the world needs more chesed love from us, the people of God? I think the number one place we need more chesed love, loyal love, steadfast love, loving kindness towards others 
um, is for people who feel rejected by the church. It's really easy to feel like, wow, the church does not like me. God does not like me because my behavior doesn't line up with the behavior it's supposed to be. That because of my actions, um, God's just angry at me. He has so much judgment for me. I feel so condemned. Now, you should not feel condemned for your sins if you are in Christ Jesus because it's all been taken care of. And I think so often we expect people, and this is when the church does it poorly, um, we expect people to behave before we're willing to show them chesed love. And what God shows us is that he shows us chesed love while we were his enemies. And so that's to be very far away from behaving and that the behavior of a Christian, essentially the, the fruit of the spirit, love and service to neighbor is going to be an outgrowth of uh, a discipleship uh, that's occurring inwardly and inside. Um, I don't think that there is anything anyone has to do for us to unconditionally love them. Uh, and so if there is a group of people who feels rejected by the church for whatever reason, I think that's a place where you and I can show more chesed love. Hey, thanks so much for joining us for this episode. I look forward to diving in with more episodes in the future.